Welcome back to Ray's Garage. I'm Ray Cornelia. Guys, this is going to be an update on the uh, 1970 Nova wheel tub project. As many of you know, I had a little setback, um, had an injury uh, a little over a week and a half ago. Uh, I'm good now. Um, had the staples removed on Friday. I'm healing up really well. So um, thank you again for all your get well wishes. I really appreciate it. So right before my injury, I had several video clips of the wheel tub project and I'll share them with you right now. Okay, I got one of many filler plates in. Uh, this is the one that I showed you how to make an easy template. That's all welded in and I'll tell you what, this steel is shit, man. Uh, go ahead and make fun of my welds, but that's the best I could do and I cleaned it. I mean, it was shiny. Anyway, uh, work, I'm working on this one. Next for the box into the frame rail. So I got to uh, bend that in. This fits up in there and of course gets welded in. Um, in the meantime, I got this cut out from the template uh, that you saw in the last video. Uh, this is gonna fit up in here. Uh, let's see. It's gonna fit up in here like so. It's gotta be trimmed up trimmed up it's oversized right now but it's going to tie all that material in that I removed so anyway um, I just cut this out on the do-all bandsaw uh, with a 24 tooth uh, metal blade metal bandsaw blade so there's your update let's forge ahead to make my bend I just took my uh, three inch wide piece welded it to this uh, pipe that's a little undersized of the radius I wanted and then just heated it up with map gas torch and pushed it over. Voila, I got a bend that's close to what that frame needs to be cut in. I can adjust it from here to there and I have extra material so I can grind off what I don't need. Phil and I got this uh, piece I cut out on the do-all bandsaw temporarily just tacked in. We're going to bring the wheel tub in. Uh, we got our uh, frame rail reinforcement completely welded in. You can't even tell that it was ever cut out except that. Look at that skinny ass wheel. That's the frame rail right there. But. I can tell you it's stronger than factory right now. All right, got some rough templates in, like I showed you earlier, got this one in. Now I got another template here I'm gonna be making. Uh, this is gonna be the last filler plate for, I believe, this tub. So, I don't know, maybe I spoke too soon. Anyway, I gotta mark this up on the back side and cut it out of the eighth inch plate. Clips you just saw, is where I left off right before my injury. So now I'm gonna take some video clips of where we're at. Um, yesterday was my first full day out in the shop. Um, I hit it hard, man. Uh, one thing though, I got myself a bump cap and I promised my wife I would wear it. She checks the security cameras from time to time to make sure I'm wearing this. Uh, believe it or not, it already came, came into handy a couple times. Anyway, enough of that. So, uh, the next set of clips I show are actually up to date, what I have completed, and how far along I am. As many of you may know, if you've been following the news, it's been hot as hell here, man. Uh, it's been over 50 days that we've been over 100 degrees. The last two weeks, it's been like anywhere from 108 to 110. One day it hit 116. Just insane. So it's kind of hard to be out in the shop. I have to have two fans blowing on me. Then to make things worse, 
We have very low humidity here for the most part. It rained yesterday. So now it's hot and humid. So I can appreciate all you guys back east. As many of you know, I grew up back east. I don't miss that humidity. It's hard to work in. Um, I drink a lot of water and I drink those liquid IV additives to the water uh, just so I don't cramp up and you know I stay hydrated. So anyway, uh, check out these clips and this is where we are and this is up to date as of today. As you can see here, I have both uh, Detroit Speed mini tubs trial fit inside. I have a little bit more trimming to do uh, to get a nice clean edge there. As you can see, um, I had to cut out a lot of material, over two inches of material. Uh, these tubs widen the wheel wells from 12 inches to a little over 14. So let's take a look underneath. Here's the driver's side. I still have a little bit of filling to do, but all the filler plates are done, welded in. Uh, like I said, it's trial fit in. Uh, it's looking pretty darn good. Let's take a look at the passenger side now. Here's the passenger side. Still have to make uh, filler plates. Got the frame all cut out for this to sit inside here. We're getting there, you know, we're making progress. Um, like I said in the past, this is a lot of work. It's not for the faint hearted by any means. Just to gain two inches of tire width, um, to me it's worth it. Um, I'll do a recap in the very end of everything that was really involved in this. I sold the Turbo 350 transmission to try to offset some of the cost of all the new parts. I also sold the uh, rear axle out of the car. It was a 10 bolt in pretty good shape. Um, I sold the starter. Um, I have the rest of the stuff on Craigslist. So little by little, people are buying stuff. Uh, this car has a 307 small block. It needs a rebuild. It's in good shape. I got like alternator and brackets and got a good radiator, good water pump. You'd be surprised. Uh, this stuff sells. Um, I pulled the distributor. I needed to access a couple of them transmission bell housing bolts. So anyway, all this stuff I got on Craigslist right now, and you know, there, you never know, there could be somebody out there building a project or, or somebody might want to rebuild a motor. Um, it's a good running motor, it just needs to be freshened up. So anyway, uh, let me give you an inside view of the wheel tubs. This is the inside driver's side, and you can see how that tub protrudes out a little bit further than the factory one. And let me see if I get you a shot. Here's the uh, passenger side. So I got to make filler plates where all that area you see light in. All that needs to be filler plated in. <clears throat> I decided to go with all Ride Tech suspension and this is their four link cradle for the 70 Nova. I wanted to trial fit this in the car uh, before I welded in the tubs just to give myself a little bit more access. This is the hardware kit uh, for the cradle. Uh, it's a true four link. Uh, it's pretty trick. I really like it. Um, I try, like I said, I trial fit it in. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, but all in all, um, looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed this update as much as I did. Anyway, I'm gonna hit it hard again today. Um, so guys, get out in your shop, build something cool. And until next time, see ya.